The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Ian, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at NAB 2010. Thank you. You are with NVIDIA? That's right. And uh, so tell us about something that's kind of cool here that you got going, um, 3D encoding for the web. Sure. What we're showing here is a, an example of a technology where we're able to take SDI broadcast uh, video streams and capture those to a GPU inside the computer and then use additional GPUs to encode those HD frames and packetize them and send them over the uh, TCP IP connection to a flash client that's able to view and, and look at the scenes in 3D. Now this is playing through a uh, flash player right now? That's, this actually is, yes, you're looking at on the screen at the moment a flash player that's actually a client of the server on the same system as the server. Now is this special code, special player that you need to watch 3D? Yes, we, we, we've made an addition to the flash player, or essentially a plug into the flash player that will take the video streams as they come through from the flash server and separate the top bottom images and then display them correctly with a page flip stereo. Now, now there's a variety of ways to do 3D top bottom side by side and then there's a whole bunch of other ways that I don't know. Right. But um, so does your technology is able to decode all those various ways? We're able to select the, uh, the different ways and use them as appropriate. So is, is this an API that's available to a developer that's creating the client? Or, or how, would, how does this, give us the workflow. If that's somebody wants to start delivering 3D video on the web, what do they need to do? That's a great question. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is really a technology demonstrator. Right. We, we, the way we would look at enabling uh, content developers and video developers for distribution, we would work with partner companies, and a good example is Elemental Technologies, but as well as other companies who create solutions that would essentially provide complete solutions to take video feeds and then distribute those over the over the web and I see. to flash clients. Okay. So the, so you guys wouldn't put the client wouldn't build the client either. We would we may uh, and I think that's a, an area where uh, at, we haven't. Uh, we would look to provide either enable Flash or, or if Flash adopts a standard, then we'll support it and help with our decode on the GPUs so that the the 3D experience is great on NVIDIA GPUs. So NVIDIA. So you come in on the decoding the hardware part or the encoding on the other end for the producer. That's right. That's so where you guys come in, and the rest you're partnering with. Yes, that's right. We're able to use the the advantage of GPU technology for the encode the the complicated math programs of ENCODE, as well as at the uh, the decode end, we have you know technology within GPUs to assist and provide a great decode and, and optimize battery life on, on notebooks and low power devices. Now from a big picture perspective, what's your thought on 3D and, this, and standards in 3D? There's so many ways, like we were mentioning before, top, bottom, you know, side by side and all the other ways of sending information, right, to decode. Um, what's your take uh, from a big picture perspective is, are there, is there going to be a, a specific standard? Should 3D independent filmmakers that want to do it today, should they shoot side by side or encode it side by side? What do you recommend? That's a great question. I mean, I think uh, from, a, from a big picture perspective, we, we will sort of move with the industry to, to see what is that those things are being defined in the industry currently and you know we're able to accommodate whichever are the the appropriate and whichever ones settle out to be the the, the final chosen technologies I think. Uh, one thing that uh, is definitely good is that if retaining the being able to retain the full resolution left right image is obviously the best quality and there are certain display devices where we can show that like the 3d LC CD panels, but in other situations where bandwidth is limited to the display device, then it, you know, compressed side by side or top bottom formats may be the most appropriate way. It's so really today, do you recommend with today the way today is? And I'm not trying to 
force an answer out of you, but I'm trying to, just for people getting into it, and, and do you recommend encoding it side by side? Is that what's supported mostly out there? Uh, you know, that's a question I don't know if I know enough okay. to answer. We, I got it. For this particular uh, example, we chose top bottom in this demonstrator. We could choose side by side as well. Right. I think some of the nature of the content would drive the decision as to which is best. Which is best, uh, got it. And if people want to find out more about 3D encoding, uh, where do they go? Absolutely. I, we would suggest, we would love to speak to more people if people have an interest in maybe developing solutions for 3D encoding or likewise you know if they checking the NVIDIA website you know we will have technologies that will as as this becomes pervasive throughout the industry you'll see information as to client side technologies and solutions as well as more professional and, and devices and solutions. Right, right, right. Perfect. Ian thank you so much great to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.